Is it too late to stop the next mass extinction event? These people don't think so. Is everyone close with the filming? Restoring our planet is a human endeavor. We have the resources, we have the know-how. Let's go and do it! These are the 2023 Earthshot Prize finalists, giving Earth their best shot to protect and restore nature. Along all the Andes, we have a lot of deforestation. When I had been taking care of the herds of my grandparents, living near to the woods and in the woods, seeing all the creatures, the river. And in that moment, I said, somebody has to save this, especially for the future generations. My name is Florent Kaiser. I'm the CEO of Global Forest Generation. I'm also the co-lead of Action Andina, together with my friend, Tino Auca. My name is Constantino Auca Chutas. I'm in the current president of Action Andina the Andean mountain range. It is a huge area spanning seven countries. The introduction of European cattle and, and sheep really took a big toll on the forest. We have a huge ecological challenge. Climate change is hitting hard in the Andes. Water is becoming a real issue. The glaciers in the Andes are melting at such a rapid pace. The forests are the only natural substitute to glaciers for capturing and, and dispersing water. For us, water means life. For us, water is the economy. And for us, the water is the future of our kids. I'm Valmir Ortega, founder of Bioterra and director executive CEO durante mais de 12 anos eh, em órgãos ambientais, nesse momento. E ali ficou claro que eh, havia uma tarefa que era urgente e ainda continua no Brasil. Né? No período recente, o desmatamento voltou a crescer no Brasil. Portanto, ainda continua a tarefa de eliminar o desmatamento para proteger a floresta nativa. O combate ao desmatamento no Brasil tem múltiplos desafios. Nós temos 25 milhões de brasileiros morando na Amazônia brasileira. We need to produce food, we need to produce ways of life for the populations of local people. And we need to conserve the biodiversity, we need to conserve the soil, we need to conserve the services and ecosystems that are relevant also for our lives. And the most part of this area that should be recovered was in the hands of producers of pecuária of low productivity. Ao desmatar uma área para produzir uma pecuária ineficiente, essa é, área vai é, gerar impactos ambientais negativos, mas ela também é, vai gerar impactos econômicos negativos. A renda que ela vai gerar para esse produtor não é suficiente para ele ter uma vida adequada, o que faz com que ele é, continue desmatando novas áreas todo ano, ele continue expandindo a sua área. É, o nosso grande desafio no momento que a gente vive hoje, né, com a urgência climática que a gente vive hoje, é como a gente acelera as transformações, que restaurem as condições de vida no planeta Terra. Essa é a urgência do nosso tempo, porque esse é o único planeta que nós temos. And action. My name is Manja Carbo, I'm from Freetown, Sierra Leone. Our city is just us and the concrete. Now you talk about concrete jungle, we are actually concrete jungle. We have one of the highest rainfall in West Africa, here in, in, in Sierra Leone. We then now have a challenge with the deforestation. Over 500,000 trees are cut down each year. When it rains in the hills, there are no trees to stop the rain, and then it destabilizes the slopes. And once that slope destabilization happens is when you have mudslides, landslides. And every single year, there's been a disaster because of rain um, in, in our city. It's, 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 it's really, yeah. I've seen what happens to communities when it floods. I've seen death and destruction and loss of livelihood. So I know firsthand the impact of deforestation. For us, it's really urgent to make sure that we, these things don't keep occurring. Rainy season after rainy season, it's the same challenge, the same problem. We need to be able to stop it.
we are already witnessing the beginning of Earth's sixth mass extinction event. And for the first time in the history of life in the universe, it's down to the actions of just one species, us. Now we know that, it's clear that we also bear the responsibility to turn things around. By better protecting the natural world and finding ways to work alongside it, we can restore this planet, while benefiting humankind at the same time. The solution for all these environment problems is to plant millions of trees. It has a direct ecological impact. We need new forests. They are going to stop the erosion. They are going to produce plant. And also it's going to be the home of a lot of creatures. Acción Andina is a great restoration project that covers the entire Andes. We work together with communities to restore high Andean and forest ecosystems. Tino is bringing the heart of Acción Andina, the connection to the communities, to his culture. What we bring is to help him turn his vision, his dream into reality. We saw that the local and native communities are demanding for more action and be part of the solution. They know that forest help conserve and help manage water. Their motivation to bring back those forests is really high. And they are going to manage much better the production. The work that the communities are conducting in the nurseries for the planting, it also brings direct income. It's amazing the quantity of communities that wants to be part of Action Andina. Restoring our planet is a human endeavor, and friendship has a huge important role in that. The trust that you have in a friendship is the base for everything that we're doing. A principal missão da Belterra é gerar um arranjo, um modelo de negócio escalável que seja capaz de impulsionar a recuperação, a regeneração dos milhões de hectares que o Brasil degradou é, pelo atual modelo de expansão agrícola, da pecu... agrícola e pecuário. Ao recuperar uma área degradada, a gente tenta imitar o que a natureza faz natural... é, geralmente. Então, by understanding natural processes and relationships between different species in their environments, Belterra are working with nature to bring balance back to the ecosystem. O que nós fazemos com a agrofloresta é imitar esse ciclo com espécies que têm um potencial produtivo, ou seja, então nós temos árvores que geram óleo, nós temos árvores que geram semente e que dessa semente produzem alimentos, né, castanha do Brasil, por exemplo. Então são é, plantas que geram produtos e esses produtos geram rendas e benefícios. Ao criar sistemas florestais, você permite que a água infiltre no solo, que a, que a água cumpra o seu ciclo hidrológico natural. Portanto, conservação de água, conservação de solo, é, recuperação é, de corredores para biodiversidade, estoque de carbono e geração de renda é, para as populações que usam. Então, então, o nosso desejo é que, para que a gente possa escalar a Belterra para milhões de hectares de áreas recuperadas a partir de 2030. Freetown the Tree Town seeks to plant one million trees across our city. The mission is to ensure that we're able to slow down the speed at which trees are being cut in our city, but also to be able to replant as fast as possible. We want to not only plant the trees, we want to also be able to grow the tree and now develop a system to make sure that we're able to sustain it financially. We identify locations that are most at risk for disasters. We then identify growers within the community, and what they do is they now take their seedlings into their location and plant. Every grower has an app installed on their phone. It's called the Tree Tracking app. Once the grower has planted a certain number of required trees, then they will get paid. Living trees are now a new source of income for members of those communities, especially the growers. They're able to pay school fees for their children. Some of them are able to pay for themselves to go through university. By using their solution to provide an income for workers in Freetown, Manja and her team have mobilized a huge force to help them reach their incredible goal. We've planted over 700,000 trees, so we're well on our way to 1 million already. But we need to be able to make sure that once we hit the 1 million mark, we're able to continue. Seeing the success of Freetown the Tree Town has been really humbling. 
but it's made me want to do more. It's sometimes easy to forget our place on this planet, but it's important that we understand we are nature and we do belong here. We are part of the fabric of existence, the only known place in the entire universe where we can coexist with life flourishing all around us. And now, urgently, planet Earth needs our help to protect and restore nature. We don't have another choice and we don't have time. Now is the time. Então é esse tipo de ideia que a gente tem que transformar e liderar pelo exemplo. And we need to make sure that we're taking care of our home, we're making it greener and safer for all of us to live in. By the end of this year, we'll have planted over 10 million native trees. Então, nos primeiros é, dois anos e meio, nós fizemos 2.200 hectares de área. Agora, nós temos contratado mais 8.000 de áreas é, a serem recuperadas até o ano que vem. We've made enormous strides. 700,000 trees planted already. It is now our task and our collective responsibility to come together to heal our planet. É possível recuperar a floresta, é possível plantar floresta e é possível melhorar as condições de vida das populações. It's time to enjoy the Mother Earth.